Hi there folks, welcome back to the Ever and Andy Fishing Channel. We're still in Slovenia, aren't we? We're still in Slovenia! <laughs> it's day four of the trip and we're getting into the real nitty gritty now, aren't we? I, I don't know about you, IB, this was the one I was most excited about. This is big marble trout territory. Where are we, Osh? We're at the Anglin Club Idria, fishing the upper part of Idrica River, so... So tell us a little bit about the Idrica in terms of the fishing. What are we expecting here? <sighs> Look, we're, ex we're expecting marble trout, hopefully. That it, that's our game, but conditions are tough, so it will be tough to get any fish out of it. We'll work on it. Besides the marble trout, we have a hybrid, brown trout, rainbows, and even grayling. So we've got the whole lot here. Yeah, we have quite a few fish to, you know, to target. Hopefully, so, we'll get some biting, you know. I'm sure we will. The yeah. river is quite low at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, super, to... super low. That's what you meant super. by being tough then, it's just yeah, that it's, it's really low. Yeah, super low. Fish will be super very so. We've seen so many fish while we were uh, at the bridge, but they weren't feeding actively, were they? No, they... they're super lazy. Super lazy. Just like me. <laughs> so it's going to be super hard work, lots of casts, lots of effort, but at the end of it, IB could have a the marble first marble trout. trout. Yes. Yeah. Should we go and give it a go, guys? Let's get it working. Let's do it. Yeah. Here with the riffly... They, it could be... What's crazy about the marbles, they could be in a really tiny water. Okay. Um, so they might be already in, even even here. So I was working this area okay. close by and, and then slowly move. progress into that, all the way below that willow tree. And maybe we'll change a fly or two, then we'll see what will happen. If not, then we go to the nymphs. Okay. Is the fly in the water? Yeah. Start close by. I will not see the fly by the way. There was a fish below. Was there? I saw the move. Okay, let's do it again. I think I saw a move. I saw some shadow move, so might be a fish. Might not be. We're just working, you know, the area. And now especially we'll work this area the around the willow tree. Yeah. We need to okay. cover that place really well. And like I said, normally I expect fish to be Around that willow yeah, tree. Around that like edge basically it's the best. We'll, we'll definitely but I would I would go with the nymph here first. Yeah. I would work this area with the nymph. Then definitely maybe French leader or this. French leader. Thank you very much. This is Urban. Hi. Our host. Hi. He brings beer. I can get used to this. Right. Cheers. I can get you beer. I can get you fish. <laughs> Just happened. This was the best reaction ever of any <laughs> angler seeing this. Just start grabbing the line of the water. Who needs a rod? Not me, <coughs> clearly. In front of one of the wardens as well. Oh god. <laughs> the warden stood there watching you hand line a fish. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh god. So I've seen the fish rise there earlier while I was on the bank refreshing myself with the beer um, but it only rose once and I, tr I covered it with a dry it didn't rise so I'm gonna go for a nymph outfit now and um, the only thing is here there's a rule that you can't you can only use 
very specific indicators. I think we will touch on that later in a little bit, but there can't be too many colors or can't be anything that you add on. So it's gonna be a bit more difficult for me to see, but we will see how it goes. It's a little brownie, I think. Rainbow? No. Brownie. brownie, yeah. Here we go. First fish. First fish. Oh. Boom. Brownie. Oh, you're so beautiful. So switching to the nymphing out it really paid off and we have only a few casts in. Our first fish of the day, it's not the biggest one, but it's really, really pretty. Wild brownie. There you go, buddy. I think it's gonna be Andy's turn. Okay, so IB made that look pretty easy. Hopefully, I'll do the same. Okay, nothing on the induce. It's lovely water this, I feel confident. There must be fish over there for me. We don't know. Let's go further over. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That's perfect. There we go. <laughs> I really hope it's a marble, I be. That was beautiful. I had a feeling there'd be a fish on that one. It was just everything was right about that. Little brownie. Yet. Little brunski. Boom ting. Okay, so we haven't gotten the real bigger drits of fish yet, but we've certainly gotten the beautiful ones. Absolute little stunner. The drits of gold but I reckon there's going to be some bigger ones for us. IB, is it your turn or is it Orosh's turn? I don't know. Apparently it's IB's turn, Orosh. You've lost out. On the swing, just on the swing. <laughs> Rainbow? I assume so, yeah. By the jumping, yeah. yeah. Woo. They're going, yeah, yeah. They'll feed, they'll they're, feed. They're feeding. We just need to figure out the big one ones. Come on, buddy, that'll do. Sick! They're growing. So they're getting a little bit bigger. Chuffed to bits with this. Proper wild Idritza rainbow. Absolutely beautiful fish. A little bit different to our Derbyshire fish. Slightly different colours. I'd say these match their riverbed a little bit better than the Derbyshire fish do. Absolutely gorgeous. Thrilled with that. Come on, buddy. IB, come on. Come catch one. So we were told that this place was going to be a little bit tougher and a bit more technical. And it is. Geez, there's some huge, huge fish knocking around in the Idritza it's today. Really, really big fish. And actually, I can see, if I'm, we're on the bridge right now, I can see yeah, below there us we so go. many there's big a, fish. There's an 18 inch but rainbow. We, we tried nymphs, we tried dry flies, but it's really low. All the rivers that we have fish normally, they would be a few foot higher and they're really, really low right yeah, now. Most of, the, most of the gravel you can see on here should be underwater. Yeah, so, so it is definitely a bit more complicated, a bit more difficult, but we kind of knew that. So that I'm actually happy that I had a brownie so earlier on because I did not expect to catch a fish at all. Like we knew it's going to be really tough and we were told like, well, if you catch a fish, it's going to be a really good day. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think three fish 
in the first spot. Well, I think we can be pretty different. happy with that, yeah. can't we? Yeah, I think so. So the plan is now we're going to move to a different spot, isn't it? We've got Orosh and Urban kind of scheming for us at the moment. We've got two, two big brains there, yes. a Slovenian fly fishing. So between them, they're trying the best to put us on some fish. They reckon they've got a spot that should be firing by now because we've got good hatches, haven't we? And more than anything, the weather has slightly changed. It's not There's no sun anymore. Like it, We were hearing thunder. Yeah. And clearly it rained somewhere probably over the valley. Yeah, the weather has changed and it's a bit cooler, a bit more humid. This is good fly fishing weather it's now, isn't it? It's very overcast and we started seeing a few more fish rising. So hopefully the next spot will produce a few on the dry flies, a few on the nymphs and we will, I'm really still hoping for a marble trout. I reckon we'll get a couple more fish today. So Urban has not only bought us beers, which to be honest makes you a best friend straight away in our book, he's also bought us down uh, Herbanza, which is a um, traditional from the Idritsa area, kind of a pie was With it? pork scratchings. Crackings, yeah. Crackings, yeah. Absolutely freaking delicious. It's really good. So even though we haven't caught that big marble trout yet, we've got pie, which to be honest is pretty much the next best thing. Makes you feel <laughs> a bit better. <laughs> So we are at the spot and I have never seen anything as beautiful as this. How amazing does it all look? It, it is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to and we were just talking about this weren't we? I, I have been into this part of the Idritz Valley once yeah. before but ever since I came here I've just wanted to come back. I'm to the point like where it's that stunning I am massively terrified of wobbly bridges. <laughs> I was on there like yeah, a soldier. Yeah, we got you yeah, ever on the bridge. It's absolutely amazing here. Uh, so both Orosh and Urban are really pumped. They're really happy to be here. They're telling us there could be some fish, particularly they're telling us there's a good chance of a marble trout. About halfway through the day, there's bugs hatching. Yeah. yeah. It's all pretty positive at the Just moment. Just had a really cool pie as well. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Urban. That was really kind. It's all pretty positive. We're both excited. She's fingers crossed. We're going to get one of these marbles, aren't I we? I think so. Give me some skin. Do I go further in? Just go in. That's it. That's it, yeah? Here, yeah. Perfect, I can I can do a side cast. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, it's on the... You got it? It's hiding behind the stone. It's going down. It's going yeah, down. going down. Go. Rainbow. Is it? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Come on Andy, this is the pool you've been waiting for for years. Yes! Woohoo! I think that's a marble, it might be a marble. It's a marble. Woohoo! Knock it off! Rainbow. Okay, keep it. I'm sorry about the GoPro battery dying, literally just as I made that cast. Absolutely, typically, that was the cast that rose the fish. Beautiful. Wow, the drips are rainbow. Doesn't get in more perfect than that, especially in a place like this. See you later, buddy. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. It's an incredible piece of water, this whole place. We've had so many chances. We haven't done this justice at all yet. There's so many fish through here, it's unbelievable. Hopefully, before we move on to another spot, Ivy's got a chance to get one more out of here because this is absolutely mind-blowing fishing. A bit further. Like into that pocket. Into that pocket, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it, that's it. Perfect. Watch out now. Try again. That's it. Yep. Woo! Nice. Oh, 
them do something chasing each yeah, other. A marble probably chasing this one. Something eh? <laughs> after it. Yeah, yeah. Probably a marble. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> that was cool. Oh. Nice and light. Oh, the fish is gone. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What happened here? I promise I had a trout. <laughs> I'm not sure where it is. I didn't see it. I never saw a trout. <laughs> we don't believe it. No, nah, that was no it trout. Didn't happen. <laughs> what a load it of rubbish. It didn't happen. I don't believe it. <laughs> it didn't happen. I don't believe it, which means I'm still on strike. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, should I cast the same place same where I spot. did? A bit more to the right, maybe, and then we'll push up. Perfect. I'm really not sure it's nothing here anymore, but. The fish got spooked, do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, you saw what happened. It was just fish were everywhere. Oh, what? just had a refusal. Did I? Yep. Oh, there's a good fish down there. In front of that rock, in front of that rock. Oh, there's just a fish. pooped it up, didn't I? No, no, no. Oh, take your time. Sorry. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Again. I think I can even see the fish. Yep. Oh. <laughs> that was the quickest netting. <laughs> super cool, super exciting. We're running out of time now, so I don't know if we're gonna hatch, if we're gonna have time for one more or not. But let's go! Yay! Okay, so it's last light. We've got about an hour left to fish. Uh, you can probably see behind me, on my left is Orosh getting rigged up, and on my right is Urban. I'm gonna fish, IB's gonna sit this one out and film. We're hoping between the three of us, we'll be, be, be able to manage a really big fish, or a much bigger fish than the ones we've caught so far in the day. We've moved from the canyon now, we're back on the, on the main river where it's much bigger. We've seen some really big fish down here, and we've got two local experts and me. <laughs> Hopefully one of us is going to try and rise one of these bigger fish because they are feeding. Righty, so last roll of the dice for today. There are fish everywhere rising in front of me, but it's really skinny technical stuff. While there's a lot of fish, there's nothing easy about this. Orosh and Urban have gone across the other side and left me with this hole inside, which to be honest is where the vast majority of the fish that we're seeing are. A tiny little left fly on. Absolutely minute, size 20, and that was by Urban's recommendation. A very long leader. That's pretty good. That's in an area. It's a little bit short. It's just risen slightly further across than that. I've not quite got that right. Oh, there's one down the inside. One down the inside. Let's have a look at you. I can see him actually. Oh, I've missed him. Ah, oh, that's one for the evening. Oh, this could be a long evening. Oh, f <laughs> ah, shut. At least no, it's still there. That's a bit better. Got him. Oh! First cast with the emerger. Bit of a shame that it came off, but a massive relief that I've actually managed to hook something in here. There's fish rising everywhere. Uh, the guys were said, definitely go for the F-fly, definitely go for the F-fly, that's what always works. But as an angler, sometimes you just get a feeling and there's a, there's a pretty good hatch of small olives in here. But the fish barely break the surface when they rise. Every now and again one splashes, but mostly it's very subtle. So my Derbyshire fishing guide head went, these are taking emergers. Try the emerger. So I just put on one of my own little peacock emergers in a size 16. And literally the first time I covered that fish properly, he ate it. So as I say, disappointed that I've not landed the fish, but hopefully that means I'm a little bit of the way to cracking the code. I'm desperate to get one out of here. Let's try this little emerger on these guys over here. There's been quite a few fish just on this side. Come on guys, lift your heads up, let me know where you are. Yeah, we'll have a little pop of this guy that just rose in front. Let's see what happens. 
Ah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be one of those games, is it? <laughs> the second it landed there, three fish rose over here where I was casting before. Where are you guys? Put your heads up. There you are, okay. Oh, oh dear me. Still going. Oh no, I just take my fly out. Oh, oh, he's close. He's close. No, 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 I can see mine. He's close to it. Uh, I think we might have a fly change coming again here. Yeah. Got him, got him. Oh, it's a big fish as well. Oh no, I'm tangled, I'm tangled, I'm tangled, I'm tangled, I'm tangled. All right. No, okay. no, I need help. I've got it. Yes, 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 yes. Finally, finally the fly change has worked. Finally. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh my goodness, finally. God, what a relief. You go through all those fly changes and, you know, you start to wonder if it's going to happen and then finally it comes together. And actually, that's quite a big dun. That's actually, that's actually an iron blue dun, which obviously isn't what's hatching. It kind of looked like what's hatching. At the very least, it was a reasonably sized dun. Nice fish. Nice fish. Come on, buddy. That'll do. That'll do for you. Come on. Wow, oh, strong fish. It's no monster by any means, but he's pulling the string. Oi, oi, oi. Wow. Where's he found that from? Come on, buddy. Nearly there. Nearly there. Please stay on. Please stay on. No. No, no, no. Wow, still taking line. That's four or five big runs now. Oh, man, stop that. Come on, Andy. Come on, Andy. You've done this before. You've done this before. Yes! Yes! Get in! Finally, we've got one. Well, I imagine there's going to be a lot of people come to Slovenia and catch much bigger fish than this, probably this week. But, geez, the conditions are so tough. It I'm pretty much the only person I think who's had a bite so far, so I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with this. We went through the changes with the flies and this is the third or fourth fly. Super lively, strong fish, third or fourth fly. But it was worth it because we ended up with an absolute stunner of a Slovenian rainbow. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that. Gorgeous, babe. I think the best thing we can do here is slit this one back nice and gently and hopefully we'll have enough light left. For another one. Ah, that feels so good. I've messed so many fish up in the last few days, but that, that's made it all worthwhile. Well done. What is it? I don't know. A fish? Uh, rainbow. <laughs> Looks like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow. Woo! Woo! Oh, <laughs> 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 Wants to be closer to me. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Stunner. Big fish. 
Just tell us what you caught this one on. <laughs> what was the secret fly? Ah, yeah, little olive done. Yeah. Perfect. You fished here before, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at him. Oh, look at that. Ooh, Absolute yes. beauty. Gorgeous fish. Beautiful. <laughs> Stunner. Really nice fish. Nice, buddy. Well done. Good man. Well done, buddy. <laughs> And there was that. We finished fishing, we got back to Urban's place and we had a lovely meal, like literally a three course meal. We were totally spoiled, weren't we? We really, we really were. were expecting that. Yeah, and we had a really nice uh, time trying different local wines and stuff like that. So, and then we just totally didn't film an outro about anything. <laughs> it was a really good day. It was a cool day. It was, it was a really such tough a cool day. day. Uh, but I think that's why we enjoyed it because it was very technical, very difficult. Uh, it wasn't easy at all at any given point. It was really difficult. I was pretty proud of myself at the end there. I mean, I'm fishing there with two of the best guys on the Dritza. Yeah. Probably yeah. two of the best anglers in Slovenia. And we've only landed two fish between us. Yeah. And I had one of those, so I was pretty chuffed myself there. To be fair, I think Urosh was really unlucky because he snapped a few fish off. Yeah, and he, yeah, yeah. A few big fish. Um, one of one of the difficulties of fishing those conditions is that you have to fish quite light because you know if you're if you're attached to five or six pound tippet, you're not yeah. even going to get a take. And the problem is, is that all the fish there are not that they are bloody massive. They're all biggies. They're all biggies. Uh, because that is called the the last bit where you guys fished is called the trophy beat. We're in the trophy section there. That's one of the best known pieces of water in Slovenia. The trophy section on the Adritza, uh, and they're all big. Yeah. I think the bit that interested us both that day though was pocket the water. pocket water oh on God. the upper Adritza, wasn't it? So amazing. I have never seen anything like it. It was the most stunning place. The water was so clear. It was so technical. It was just beautiful. Like we didn't catch a massive fish out of there, but every single fish you caught, you felt like you deserved that fish because you have to work for them hard. I think luckily to us is that we had two people spotting the fish for us that know the river and that section really well. If I had to choose one water that we fished in Slovenia to have here in the UK, that would definitely be oh, Bridget, it. Oh so that'd be the one. Yeah. To be honest, I, I can kind of see why, as you ever said, the, the word is technical. I mean, it's cast and blast through there, isn't it? You're searching pockets, landing it in small areas. You, you don't stop still for more than two no. minutes. I mean, the, the footage we got there if we'd have showed half the footage we shot on on that day that vlog would have been four hours long i mean there was so so much we covered miles didn't we we covered miles we, covered we grilled it i think that was the most stepped st and the most steps i've done um <laughs> through the whole seven day period but absolutely worth it and that was only day one of the adritza wasn't it so the next vlog will be day two on the same river different areas yeah a few different yep. outcomes as well let's see Guys, thank you very much for watching this one again. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it the old thumbs up, sis, in somewhere down here below. Uh, if you're enjoying the Slovenia vlogs, what should people do? They should subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more. Listen to IB. Of the new vlogs coming up. <laughs> but also, if you want to check out the clubs that we were fishing or Urosh's page, obviously he's a fishing guide in Slovenia. Um, all the links are going to be in the description box below. Uh, so check it out, stay tuned, and there's going to be another awesome day coming up soon. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.